What's the old saying about the importance of paying attention to the details? It is critical, especially if you are in the midst of a home improvement project. And this time of year, a lot of folks are dreaming of a new deck. And if you're thinking of a new deck, you're thinking of Chattanooga Exteriors and Jamie Brenneman. So Jamie is back this morning and he's doing a little bit of thinking for you this yeah. morning. Uh, last time he was here, he was talking about that deck flooring. This morning, we're focusing on the deck railing. Is that right? Yes, yes, we have and multiple options options. This is the detail. Yes, that can make or break it. Yeah, and this is a this is sometimes uh, can be very overwhelming to some people because they they know the deck color. Now they got to focus on the rail and there's so many options. I, I think there's probably over a 100 different options that you can choose for railing. So you brought four with you today. Yes. Are these kind of the top four? Or? They're, they're a, they, they represent um, really the, the broad spectrums that you can go. Mm -hmm. um, so we have anywhere from our classic traditional metal rail, metal balusters, um, to then we have the Verta cable. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have the stainless steel cable that runs vertical. Mm -hmm. uh, then down here we have the horizontal cable. So it's your traditional cable. Uh, rail that you'll see a lot of. Uh, and then right here we have a rail that has kind of a rounded top. Mm -hmm. um, so it's more of a traditional um, old school kind of uh, traditional style rail. Mm -hmm. So um, all these come in different colors. You know, that's where you can you can get kind of overwhelmed is trying to match this color with this color and, and go from there. Um, so when you're talking to people, and I would imagine you get a lot of couples coming in, uh -huh. and each spouse has his or her own view of what's most important. Correct. Um, last time you were here, I think we talked about the flooring options, mm -hmm. and there was one, I don't recall which one, but it was incredibly heat resistant. Yes, yes. Um, yep. The durability factor, that's yeah. important. Yes, yes. But is it ever a good idea, Jamie, to start with the look you want finished and work top down, like to pick the yeah. railing first it, and then? Yes, yeah. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll look at the house and we'll look at some finishes that you've used in other areas. You know, like if you just redid a kitchen, we'll look at some, maybe some of the fixtures mm. that you used um, or you did, you know, we'll want to match the gutters or the lighting that are on the outside of a house or if you have a fence. That's, that's um, close by to this deck, by the railing. We'll want to try to mimic that look or uh, at least match the color. Right. You know, so right. if you have a black fence, we'll do black railing. Um, you know, but some people like, you know, they want everything all white. Right. Um, or they want it to be, you know, they want big post, mm -hmm. small rail. So we can really do, you know, you can mix and match all this stuff. I'm thinking if you've got like a mid-century modern kind of mm -hmm. house, you'd go with this one or this yes, one, yes, right, to kind of yeah. keep that theme going. Uh, yes, yeah, and a lot of times, you know, so, so, I'll, you know, some people love this uh, horizontal cable, uh -huh. but a lot of times, if somebody has, you know, grandchildren or small children, that that people, small kids can use this as a ladder, uh -huh. and so we want to always warn people of, hey. If you have this, Good point. you know, you need to make sure that you're out here with young children mm -hmm. that are that are that could be climbing on this. You brought um, um, all of these are, were hoping to be plugged in. I guess we're yeah. limited on outlets this yeah. morning, but I noticed that this yeah. one I can see the, the plug. Yep. What would it so do? it's got a light underneath. So it has a oh, it's lit up now. Yeah, isn't it? So it has okay. a strip light that runs underneath here. So you don't ever see the light, but it just shines this light down. How pretty. Yeah. This one here then yep. gives you a, two different light yep. sources. Yep. So you have this light right here that kind of um, it it kind of outlines the deck is when you, at night you can see where the posts are at, mm -hmm. and, and this light right here you can see it's got a down light, and we use a lot of this um, because it doesn't really impede your view of what you're looking at, but it really sh shines down on the deck. Mm -hmm. uh, these are really good around stairs, so we typically tell you, hey, we would like to see probably three or four of these lights on the stairs, like where, hey, this is oh, where your first step is at. Great point. So if you're walking up in the pitch black dark, you can see, hey, this is my first step. Right. And then people usually can get their bearings from there as they like, you know. You know, I mean, decks are an investment mm -hmm. and you yeah. do a great job, I know on your Facebook page of showcasing <laughs> all the different before and afters that you do on, yeah. a, on a regular basis, but people do have a budget at some yes. point. Yep. So if you have a, a deck that's fine, mm -hmm. but you wanted to take advantage of some of these safety features like yeah. that, 
Yeah. Can they just do the yeah. railing? Yeah, we can come in and take their old railing off, put new railing on. We do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, if their frame is fine and they want new deck boards and new rails, we can do that as well. Mm -hmm. Or we can tear the whole thing down and start, uh, you know, start from scratch and, and build an all new one. Um, or sometimes people say, hey, I like what I have right now, but I want to add uh, a 10 by 10 area over on this side to really give me a, you know, a little more space or a grilling area mm. right off the kitchen or something like that. So yeah, so is that part of the process in working mm -hmm. with you at yeah. Chattanooga Exteriors is that you'll kind of consult and design with people? Yes, yeah, and we wanna make it functional. Um, we wanna make it, you know, revolve around you. And, you know, a lot of people are spending more times outside. Um, they're entertaining outside. Um, so like, hey, if you're having people over and you want a dining area out here, mm -hmm. okay, let's think about your cooking here, your grilling out here, and then your serving here and how this is all going to flow. Mm -hmm. And so we try to just, you know, walk you through that because we've done it, you know, plenty of times and we have experience with it and we know what works and what doesn't work hey, this is what has succeeded, this is what has not succeeded. Right. You know, and this is what looks good and what doesn't look good. People do come to you and they really have a, a five-year, 10-year plan mm -hmm. for their home and maybe they start with the deck, yeah. but they're gonna want to do some new siding down mm -hmm. the road. Is yeah. that part of the conversation to make sure your colors then are gonna work? Yes, yeah, we can and we, we always, we try to say, hey, what is it from here that you're gonna do? Like, hey, yeah. you, you need new siding, do you need this, do you need a new roof? And we kind of, we want to put together a comprehensive plan that says, hey, here's everything that you need to do and here's the price for that. Mm -hmm. um, we can take this in chunks and say, hey, this is first year, next year we'll do this project, next year we'll do this project. And we try to do it in a way where we're not being wasteful of money, where you're not saying, well, we did the deck before the siding and we should have done the siding before the deck. Right. You know, or we should have done this before that, so now we have to replace that because we right. did it out of sequence. So be honest, yeah. and that yeah. way he can help you <laughs> yeah. uh, stretch that dollar. Um, in terms of the time of year, this is it, because you're mm -hmm. what, four to eight weeks out and yeah. getting these things done? Yeah, we're, I mean, depending on what you're ordering and um, what you're wanting, um, color-wise, rail-wise, decking-wise, uh, we're typically about four to eight weeks out, depending on what you're choosing. Um, and so we, we need to order that, we need to get it in. We don't want to start tearing your deck apart before we have, you know, everything right. to complete the job because uh, we you can get in trouble that way right. where you're you're expecting it and it's like, oh, well, it didn't ship. Man's and, never going to be stronger yeah. than Mother yeah. Nature. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to this type of, I guess this is Trex, is that right? This is, uh, this is composite decking, so okay. it can be um, Trex, Timber Tech, there, there's a lot of Any different of ones. It. That, yeah. So yeah. when those spring storms inevitably mm -hmm. come our way, as opposed to wood that's going to get gouged yes. by potential hail or yeah. something, these are more durable? Yes, yes. Yeah. So these are durable, 50-year warranty on, on a lot of this. Um, they have uh, UV reflective technology in them, so they don't get as hot as they used to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there used to be the whole thing of uh, composite decks where though they were, they were so hot, so yeah. hot, you know. And now they've, they put some uh, technology in the boards that kind of reflect, uh, reflect the heat, mm -hmm. um, and then they cool down quicker. Um, so it's a lot of a lot of technology that we're we're and benefiting from. Talk about a one and done, a 50 yeah. year warranty. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, and that's the whole thing is like, hey, if you're going to stay in your house, and so we don't want to continually maintain, maintain, and, sure. all, and all this just over and over, and it just, you know, the deck owns you, you don't own the deck. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so we want to just do it right, you know, super low maintenance, hose it off you know, when the pollen falls, because mm -hmm. the pollen just, root, you know, it's sure. everywhere. Right. <laughs> and we're, uh, so you just want to hose that pollen off and, you know, that's it. All right, then here's how you yeah. call him. It's Chattanooga Exteriors. He'll be happy to come to your place. 805-3800 uh, is the phone number. But if you want to go to his showroom and really be wowed, that's a great little Santa toy land to go yeah. shop in as well <laughs> and really kind of get some imaginative ideas of what could be your home uh, before the season comes to an end. Thank you. Thank you.